Hi Shauna, this is Scott Walker with Impact Latent SEO. We spoke earlier and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing you some tips and tricks on how to improve your online presence by using your website and also your Google business profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback about the video and I hope these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your website right here. I do like that you have the call to act up top and I do really like your guys's um, logo up here. I like the Rockies in it. Um, but looking at your website, I mean, it looks very clean and professional, but at the same time, I would recommend adding uh, a lot more content. Uh, the reason I say that is Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to have keywords, which you could be found for in Google searches. And usually that means like Albuquerque's heating and air conditioning repair. That would be a buyer intent keyword because it has a location and also a service for you. And if you do it correctly, um, all of your logos, pictures, um, and videos, if you say the alt text correctly, they could be um, a keyword as well. And that would count as content because they're embedded on the pictures back there. So I did go ahead and throw your website into a tool I use called Arips. Um, this will give me your analytics and kind of show me where you're setting. Um, your UR and DR is the strength and trust that Google has for your website. These are on a scale of 100, and I do recommend having these balanced and continuously moving up. And by implementing the strategies I'm talking about, this will boost your numbers right here. Um, you're currently setting at 34 and 11, 34 strength and 11 trust, and that is usually due to your backlinks and your referring domains. And in case you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via a clickable button or text. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal, so I would stay away from the spammy backlinks and go after the more authoritative ones by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. Um, it looks like you're being indexed for 720 keywords and you're getting roughly 240 people to your website each and every month. Um, this is just a guesstimate because it is a third-party tool, but um, having that be so low, this, your website's acting more like an online business card as opposed to a online lead generating tool that could produce an ROI for you. And search and looking at some of the keywords that you're being indexed for, <clears throat> um, Veteran Ranch Park, oh, Ventana Ranch Park, excuse me. I don't know what that means, but you know, there's 900 volume and you know, you're know you in the fifth position for that. But that to me is not a buyer intent keyword because uh, it doesn't have a, uh, a service for you. At least I don't think. Um, heating Albuquerque, that is a buyer intent keyword. Um, there's 100 search volume and you are number one in that particular keyword. But those are the type of keywords that you should be ranking for um, because that has a, a location and a service for you. And so a lot of the keywords here that you're being indexed for don't really have anything to do with, you know, what you can offer. You know, HVAC contractor Albuquerque, there's 30 and you're number one, which is great. So, you know, trying to get ranked for the buyer intent keywords is super important for you. So if we do look up, you know, Albuquerque plumber, um, usually there are the Google guarantees, which are right here, but it doesn't look like anyone's doing any local ads. Um, and this is a great way to generate business quickly for you, but you really want to be down in the Google business profile or the Google map back down here. It's totally fine that you're not here right now. There are so many ways to, to get up to this area. Um, you could start by constantly adding your reviews. You could make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. There's also a 750 character about us section at the bottom of the page that you can fill out and you can add keywords into that as well. And then another tip I like to rec recommend is to add post, uh, branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly because that shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then adding a citation with your business name, address, and phone number into things like um, Yellow Pages and Yelp is very beneficial because Google is like a big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, it will make Google start to trust you and that'll boost your business. And that's not only in your area, but the surrounding areas as well. And then being up in the Google Map Pack will give you about 30 to 40% of your online traffic to your website because it's just convenient to click right here or they could give you a call. 
And then going down <clears throat> into the organic section, this is the place I was talking about where your keywords rank. Um, you know, it looks like Rocketman Plumbing is your number one competitor for this particular uh, keyword. And if we go to their website, um, you know, they do have a call to act and a free quote up top. And, um, you know, I mean, looking at their website, they have a lot of pictures, but they don't have very much content. So, I mean, by implementing these strategies, having more content, better keywords, um, those authoritative backlinks and adding citations, you're going to start to outrank these competitors. And um, once you do, I'm going to show you kind of just uh, some of the keywords that you could be found for. But Plumbers Albuquerque, there's 1,100 people searching each and every month for just that one keyword. Another 600 for Albuquerque Plumbing, and you kind of get the picture. There's a lot of people searching for plumbers in Albuquerque. And so when you start to outrank your competitors, a certain percentage of this volume is going to go to your website instead of theirs. And a percentage of those people going to your website will start to give you a call, and depending on your closing rate, will turn into a customer for you. So I really hope that this video was helpful. I, again, would appreciate to hear your feedback about it, Shauna, and I do appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.